the University of Abuja was founded on the 1st of January 1988, but started its academic activities in adequate security and protection against external forces. I can say that the university was not having any security because there wasn't any security head at the time we came in, but with his presence and his understanding of the need to have a good, perfect, hard-working security in place, he allowed me to draw out the structure of what a security in an institution of this nature should look like. And I did it by liaising with small security apparatus in the town, uh, with input from sister security services, the SSS, the civil defense, the SIB, the police, all of them. I didn't say I know too much. I went to many of them and made the good inputs which are put into down to form the structure. The university operates in two campuses. The mini campus in Gwagwarada, which was the takeoff site and permanent site covering about 11,824 hectares located along the Kaduna Lokoja Abuja Road. The mini campus is at the moment the temporary location of the Faculty of Social Science, Management and Law, while the permanent site is home to the Faculty of Arts, Science, Veterinary Medicine, Agriculture, College of Medicine, the University Senate and other administrative buildings. The presence of the intervention agencies like Central Bank of Nigeria, Tashari Education Trust Fund, Petroleum Equalization Fund, Needs Assessment Committee Fund and individual donors has contributed in no small measure to the infrastructural development and general well-being of the university. Our crew spoke with some of the key officers of the university on the importance of these agencies to the development of Nigerian University's education. Professor Mahmoud Abdullahi Kacha, BBC Administration. I'm Rufai Ahmad Baba. I'm currently the bursar of University of Abuja. The first female university Nigeria, and also a chapter of Nigeria. Panel Solomon Ada Mbede, retired from the Nigerian Army and alumni of the National Institute of Policy and Strategy Studies. I am Professor EJC Mwana, Edmond Mwana. The university will be proud of the College of Health Sciences. MDCM has given us full accreditation, and that was why we were able to graduate our first set of medical doctors last year. 
and at least we, we are going to have this accreditation for the next five years until review. And we are daily improving on our programs and infrastructures. I really feel delighted working with the University of Abuja. I really enjoyed working with them for my short stay with them in the university. In fact, I have no problem. Almost all the staff in the department are very competent. And I also really enjoy working with the management of the university also. I have known Professor Michael Adiku for about a decade now. He's a listening leader. For the present vice chancellor we have now, I think the school is developing, rapid development. Because <laughs> you look around, you see different infrastructure being raised. There is uh, administration now, we think a lot of improvement in this permanent site. Professor Michael Umali Adiko is the fifth substantive vice chancellor of the university. Before his appointment, the university was regularly confronted with constant crisis, student protest, and backlog of convocation ceremony. In his first year in office, Professor Michael Adiko achieved a major milestone when he conducted a combined convocation ceremony for the 2009 to 2010 to the 2013 and 2014 academic session, graduating over 25,000 students. Professor Michael Umale Adiko ensures the accreditation for most of the university courses, which has been the major reasons for the delay of convocation in the past. So, Michael Umale Adiko, a faithful servant, I mean the words, faithful, a faithful servant who has been commissioned to take the University of Abuja from the position it was to the highest level. His achievements are uncountable because he's a workaholic, somebody who works from morning to night. Matthew is a gifted individual, somebody who has excelled in his field of specialization. Is among the three in the whole of Africa. I don't want so many prizes in the academic uh, field. And uh, his excellent work are uh, available everywhere. As he just entered the gate of the university, you start seeing new structures, new departments, new faculties, where others could not look for. problem because anything you take to him he will say no problem and I used to say there are problems and he's saying there is no problem but I have come to accept that truly there is no problem the help, I would describe him as somebody that is very hard working he, he keeps to his words and he hardly compromises. number one is hard working and number two he lives in a lot of students and Number three, he's straightforward. As in, whatever he says he will do, we surely do it for him. This chancellor, I would say, has a vision for this school. He wants a situation whereby the calendar of this school, the university calendar, will be able to compete with other universities, which is why the semester is actually running fast. So we're able to finish on time and resume on time, which will be this year then. We'll be on the same level with other universities. MU Adiko is a shining star, the character that I admire academically because he's one of the most published professors of pharmacy in Nigeria. And this is a man who demonstrates to me 
that we can work with you if you are hard working. Yeah, one time I just want to tell him, just I want to say well done. I want to just say thank you. I want also to say that God will continue to guide him and bless him. Because whether you like it or not, he brought good news to the members of our future. Before now, they looked at when I came in 2016, we had complications, six years, combined complication. Why are you talking? Are you saying that uh, you don't have vice chancellor before then? So, and there's peace, relatively peace in the university. And that's the most important thing. When I, when, before I came, every year, every semester, there will be one strike or the other, either from the lecturers or from the students. But now, we are, we are, we are fixed. So I want to, I want, not only me, I want the university, in fact, I want us, the University of Abuja, to see how we can give him a defeating send-off on his way out. And I'm also, So when I applied, when the time they invited me, I just called him. He said, no problem. For me, I think I have passed. Because the vice chancellors are But that thing can't be down. Do you understand? That's the strategy. So I'm saying that he's a good man. He's a kind man. And God will continue to bless him and his household. My own advice for him is to continue with his good work up to the last day of his tenure. In Abuja, it's, it's nice, although the um, spacing between classes and stuff is actually wide and everything, but it's nice, nice environment, nice people. You can't expect everybody to be friendly, but most of the lecturers are friendly and at least yeah, they, they teach us in ways that we can understand. To get admission into the school, first of all, it starts with your jam score. You have to score above 180. Then your post -GME. you have to have the right subject combinations, and also prayer, because you need prayer. It's great, it's very nice. Studying in the University of Abuja is nice, and it's the lane, and it's practically like you practical, a lot, a lot of practical, especially in my department. We do a lot of practical, lab, and farm. We do farm work a lot. So, I think it's a very good school. Lectures are fair enough, though some lecturers are better than others. Some do, they do not miss their classes at all. We have class from time to time, and they know how to teach very well to the point that you understand. While for others, you just have to go for tutorials to understand more. I'd like to invite many more of um, secondary school students to come in here to come and stay in our school because it's very nice. Though for now we are still on project work and everything is moving fast, really, really fast. You know the picture of us in learning course. When I started four years ago, the picture was really good. But the environment I met was very was scattered, upside down. But we began to learn on the job, not with the vice chancellor of the job. But my experience with the World Bank Assistant Project course, the science and education the technology, was busy. Very helpful. It taught me how to work on that place. So I began to look at all the indices of a good institution. And that's what I've been doing here. Not that I've done anything extraordinary. But basically, each time I visit overseas laboratories, I would have some challenges. They are very dedicated.
here, I'm carrying this experience wherever I'm going. Either to the classroom or to the administrative job. What I eventually see, if you look at various schools, there's some level of IGR that is not, and that depends on the number of programs they have. But fortunately for University of Abuja, we have very few programs. That has not been very helpful. From 2000 and 
quality information and education journals from renowned academics from different parts of the world, well-trained library staff and competent librarian. Some of other notable achievements of Professor Michael Umali Ajiku administration includes general harmony in campus, accelerated staff development, constructive reconstructing of academic programs, regular inaugural lectures, collaborations and partnership with relevant institutions to continually improve the standard of the university, regular promotion of academic and non-academic staff to their deserved position without compromising standards, improvement on water supply at the staff quarters and students' hostels, construction and rehabilitation of road network, constructing of peaceful student union, where student hostels and facilities is giving needed attention and the establishment of leadership award by his administration to encourage academic staff and to bring out the best in them. The University of Abuja has also participated as well as won many local and international awards to their credit. You are welcome to the University of Abuja.